Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Pitts me tripping. Out here braving the heat, like most of you throughout the US, at least the US folks are having to deal with a lot of heat right now. And we want to talk through some of the spec. This thing's been sitting in the direct hot. I wanted to see what the surface temperature of this would get. So the air temperature right now is around the 93. It feels like 102. And on this door, it's 123 degrees at 15% humidity. So you can only imagine with the doors open, in here, like how hot everything would be, but we got this in, this big ass fan. This fan here is actually a evaporative cooler. So you see the water coming down on the sides here and I can change that amount by clicking on this a little further, just spinning it just a little bit, the control valve to let it just kind of go down. Corrugated material that's part of this, and it's essentially a membrane that allows it to get wet and collect the water in there. And then on this side, 77 degrees. So that's, the, that's how cool this is. And we're gonna plug this in to a uh, meter for you guys can see, but this thing uses right around 430 watts of power. You can see it right here, but we're gonna confirm that here on this video here of what something to this scale, this is the 300 series for from big ass fans. And what has it done to this room? 70, 71 here and, and then here, uh, or it's went down as low as 71 degrees. In here, we, we got it down about 80 degrees before we moved that out there. So it, it dropped the temperature in here. It was about 94 degrees. And we dropped it down to about 80 in this room, just with this little one. And you guys can see the size of the building here that we have. So this is a 40 by 80 building to give you an idea in scale. And we're coming at about 25 feet here. You know, we're using a good portion of this where we put our offices in. So. What this thing's actually got, dropping us down to right now in this room is about 80 degrees in here. And that's with, you know, this, this surface area. Here's the thermals coming out of there, 75. Surface temperature is about 107 on that door. So 86, 84 on the ground. And up top's about 91, 92. So not too bad thermally. Now, here's the other thing. 430 watts of power usage. So not too bad. So uh, hopefully that gives you guys some good understanding of how much this thing's performing. We're gonna actually have the doors closed. We're gonna do a follow-up on this with like an L7 running and a few other things. There is some concern with how close you put those to the equipment though. And it does bring up the humidity. So we're gonna be tracking the humidity in here because next to the unit, it's around 70%, 70, 75% humidity, which is a lot. Um, you don't wanna be running equipment with that level of humidity. So we're gonna see what the humidity levels in this room have, uh, especially back here by the equipment. Nothing's running right now while we're doing this test. But you know, uh, the relative humidity right here is about 35. It's about 15% outside right now. Uh, and around that unit, again, it's 75. So we just wanna make sure that we're maintaining a, a, a decent level of humidity. We may have to put a dehumidifier in there if we're running the larger unit, because um, this is a smaller 300 unit, as you can see just the size of it from over there. by comparison to other unit, other stuff. So like, subscribe, we got a lot more content coming for this. We'll catch you guys on the next